even looking at the position report and uh, we still need a little bit more speed. We're about 0.3 slower than the others at the moment. And, uh, well, everybody's sleeping down here so they're not making this go faster. But it's pretty important to charge the batteries. You can see, we've got Henry. Henry's up there sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping so he can make us go really fast when he wakes up. Say hi, everybody. Well, for the last uh, couple of days, we were struggling a lot with our boat speed. Uh, now, since yesterday, it looks much better. On the last uh, report one hour ago, we were uh, doing roughly the same speeds on everybody, same speed on same angle. Luckily, it's going to stay like that now, up to the finish, and we will be able to stay ahead of map free on Axo. Bed here, empty, but it's waiting for me. It's going to be good. It's been terrible, and now we're finally we back in. Back in same, the same pace as the other ones. It's good news. We worked on the boat, found a few things that we could change, and we got we got fast and got got in the same pace as the rest of the group. Uh, but it's a little bit hard to say if we're slow or if we... To me, we're seeing a lot of clouds and we got into the most of the, the clouds we've seen, so... Uh, I don't know if it's speed or if it's uh, unluck or... But it's, it's nice to be back on the pace again and maybe do the same speed as the rest of the fleet, so... That's a happy moment. We have a high pressure to run, and um, if we are too far east, it's good for the shift, but it's bad for the wind speed. So the risk is to be caught by the high, the middle of the high pressure with very light wind. And if we are too far west, it's good for the wind speed, but it's uh, bad for the shift, and also it makes more distance. So it's perhaps a bit more safer because there is less risk to be caught by the light wind area in the high pressure but also you make more distance so we have to find the best compromise. Mm -hmm. 